Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, November 25th, 2023. Let's get into it. So, you know, as I fish around, I watch a lot. I mean, I guess I'm just a news junkie. <laughs> you know, because I want to just, you know, do you want to watch uh, some Netflix uh, woke uh, show or would you rather like try to find out what's going on in the world? And sometimes it actually benefits me. I'll get a good investment or I'll I'll learn a little bit there. And then, of course, I always watch educational videos and I try to uh, I'll relate a couple of those to you in this video. But at the, the main theme of this uh, video is uh, American veterans are cowards. Uh, I won't say all American veterans. I think it's mostly the high-ranking officers and the high-ranking enlisted. Uh, once they get up there, the reason that they got there was they were sycophants. They sucked up to get to the high ranks. I only made staff sergeant. Uh, and that's what I find out. You know, I was at the VFW and a guy who made the... Uh, I don't know, he made gunnery sergeant, or, well, not gunnery, it's in the Marine Corps. Uh, I can't remember what you call it in the, <laughs> when you're in three branches of the military. I mean, the rank structure is always different. But anyway, he was in the Army above staff sergeant. Uh, so anyway, and he was telling me, he goes, you know, you just didn't play the game right. You didn't play the game right. You could You could be sucking off the tit of the government and getting tons and tons of money. Uh, that's not what I'm all about. But you know what? I just want to tell you how, and, and, and the American people, I can't believe, uh, and I'm, I'm not trying to insult you or anybody else, but everybody who was going, Ukraine, 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 and flying the flag, flying the flag, let's look what's going on with their recruitment. And by the way, this is the British Broadcasting Channel, which is pro-Ukraine to the hilt. I can't even believe I found this video. Check this out. On Ukraine's southern border, security is being tightened. Not to keep its enemies out, but to keep its own men in. It's been illegal for men who can fight to leave, but thousands are trying. Some helped by corrupt officials. Цинизм та хабарництва у час війни – це державна зрада. We've been given exclusive access to the border forces in Ukraine and Moldova. Були випадки постійних спроб кораці на кордону. We meet some of the men, risking it all to leave. Все ж воїни. Не треба ж цю страну туди держати. Заперті. And those trying to stop them. Були випадки постійних спроб перетину кордону, незаконного спроб перетину кордону. The border guards film their operations. These young men were arrested just meters from Romania's border. It's illegal for men under 60 to leave without a valid exemption from military service. Those caught trying to do so face up to eight years in jail. Since the start of the war, over 4,000 men have been stopped trying to cross into Romania. Elsewhere, the numbers are higher. This man has just been found and taken to the local border police station. Yevgeny is 37 and a construction worker from Kyiv. It's been six months since he saw his family. He says he left because he was struggling to survive. Если на не так будет ситуация сильнее, всех уже косых и их равных будут брать. Most men, like Yevgeny, attempt the journey at night. A thermal camera is used to spot them. Ukraine's border with Moldova has become the most popular illegal way out. Since the war, over 11,000 men have used this route. 
Recently, the government tried to crack down on this booming business by sacking those in charge of military recruitment. Усіх обласних військових звільнено. Масштабна перевірка територіальних центрів комплектування виявила корупцію на місцях, зокрема під час загальної мобілізації. Результати вражають масштабами і географією. Since the start of the war, nearly 7,000 men have been arrested for using fraudulent paperwork, including white tickets. But men who are sick or disabled say getting an exemption through the official channels isn't easy. Eric says he wouldn't survive in the army. When the war broke out, he desperately tried to apply for a white ticket, but wasn't successful. These men were caught trying to swim across. Evgeny is one of around 20,000 Ukrainian men who crossed illegally and claimed asylum in neighboring states. Ukraine does not release official figures on the size of its army, but the country's defense minister claims it has 800,000 troops. Our investigation shows that more than 40,000 Ukrainian men have tried to get out or succeeded in leaving the country illegally. As this turns into a war of attrition, Ukraine will need all the soldiers it can get. Wasn't that incredible? <laughs> I mean, holy shit. I, can you imagine being a young man and, uh, you know, you're just trying to get the hell out. I mean, imagine, you know, back during the Vietnam War when everybody was trying to get to Canada. I mean, here's these young Ukrainian men just trying to get over the border. Oh, my God. And then we've got, you know, I, you know, I always love that, you know, uh, Trump is the biggest threat to democracy in the history of the world. Well, I guess uh, Zelensky must be the biggest threat to democracy in the history of the world because he's not even going to hold elections. I, you know, I don't know. I, I, I think anyway, I think the survival of that guy is, uh, is very limited. If you follow in the war, uh, Ukraine is losing on all fronts. Uh, they're getting crushed at this point. In fact, it's a slaughter. Uh, right now, taking place in Andif Andifka. Uh, God knows, I'm not, sure I'm not pronouncing that right. Uh, and, 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 you know, the American people are for it. The American people, especially the warmongering Democrats, the Borg, the Borg Democrats, they're all for slaughtering people. Oh, my God. Let's see. Oh, and then I just posted a, uh, a definitely check out uh, that, that cybersec guy, Kirk Ellis, on... Um, on on X, and I just posted a video by uh, Doug Douglas McGregor, and uh, it was him and uh, JFK and it, J you know John F Kennedy Jr. Uh, hell of a good interview. Uh, and, and by the way, I, John F Kennedy pointed out some things I didn't even know about. Did you know that we're destroying the mountains in West Virginia? You know, all the Democrats talk about climate change, climate change. And here we are uh, launching a nuclear bomb every freaking day, blowing up the mountains for strip mining in West Virginia. And that's just one of the things that he pointed out. you got to watch the whole damn video. And in fact, I have a, a tweet here by uh, Douglas McGregor. And I just want to read this to you. Uh, I think he's an American hero. Zelensky has said there will be no elections in Ukraine for the foreseeable future. Well, no shit. He has effectively banned the Orthodox Christian Church from operating in Ukraine. Yeah, all you Christian warmongers, all uh, uh, pretending to be Christians. Oh, yeah, you know, we, we support Ukraine. We support Ukraine. Yeah, guess what? Well, he's banned Christianity in, in Ukraine. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, and, of course, you know, you guys are all for banning Christianity here in the United States. Uh, and, and then I'm not sure. If, well, this is Doug. He says, I'm not sure there are any rights left in Ukraine. He has the Ukrainian secret police behind him, which looks more like more and more like the NKBD under Stalin. Well, you saw the video that I put up at the beginning of this. What would you think of that? What do you think? All you Ukrainian idiot flag wavers. 
Okay, and then, uh, and then of course, the last piece is they are rounding up people and forcing them into uniform and disappearing them. Pay attention. Well, you know, Douglas McGregor, I give you credit. I give you credit. And, uh, well, let's, let's go and... Uh <laughs> Пятьдесят шесть, пятьдесят четыре, заряд полный, один снаряд зарядить. Ледем готов, прицел двести девяносто шесть, пятьдесят шесть, пятьдесят четыре. Орудие! Заводи, поехали! Let's see. Andifka is falling apart for the AFU. Ukrainian artillery activity has fallen off and the pocket is turning into a shooting gallery. <laughs> yes, it is. Ukrainians are dying by the hundreds and the thousands, just like at the end of World War II. And, uh, and by the way, I, you know, the Biden administration, warmonger Democrats, the warmonger Democrats are all for it, man. More Ukrainian blood. Let's get the women. Well, the women are on the front lines now. Did you know that the young kids are on the front lines now, just like in uh, Ger Nazi Germany? Oh, you freaking Christians out there. All you uh, hypocrites. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's just continue to support that. As we predicted, let's pray the Ukrainians come to their senses and avoid this, uh, their slaughter. And of course, I mean that in the fence. They need to surrender at this point. Uh, whether you want to believe that or not. And then, I, of course, here's another one. I, one thing I have difficulty with is, is I hate to say it, most veterans are cowards. Most veterans are cowards, especially the upper enlisted ranks of officers. For example, I, I tried to sing the song, this song on Veterans Day and was rushed off the stage saying it was political and the VFW, the Veterans of Foreign Wars, they rushed me off the stage because I was trying to carry out a song about Afghanistan does not allow political talk or songs. Everything is political, in my opinion. Judge for yourself. And, of course, then I post the song. And it's it's a song. you got to watch it. I can't remember the artist, uh, but I put it up on my ex uh, channel. It, it starts out, I got blood on my hands. I got blood on my hands. And then it goes, Lincoln, Blinken, won't you look me in the eye? General Austin, where is the? And then it goes on from there, and I uh, just watch the watch the watch the video. You can watch that. Uh. Пятьдесят 
So then I talked about uh, that. It's, then I said, oh, here's Marjorie Taylor Greene. Republicans are finally winning on a winning streak. We need to keep this momentum going. I am done losing to Democrats. And I said, yeah, get rid of the well, Republican National Committee chair, Ronna Romney McDaniel, a rhino. Why in the hell do we have a rhino in charge of the Republican Party? Oh, my God. Let's just keep going. So we're, this video is uh, it's getting kind of long here. Uh, yeah, and, you know, on a personal note, uh, I hope you took advantage of, uh, of Black Friday. Um, I went to, well, it was cold as hell. <laughs> My car's in the shop right now, and I've been encouraging you to take care of things. I try to take care of things as much as I can. I, uh, I was stupid. I backed the car with the gate up and into the garage and tore it up. So they're, they're fixing it right now, but I had to ride my motorcycle. Uh, but I, you know, I was determined, uh, Ace Hardware offered this 50% off deal. I know it's too late now, but I'm telling you, you can kind of watch out for coupons and deals from all of these places. Uh, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to pick up, I got, I got to get some mulch. I got to get some dirt from my garden. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to throw that out because I always try to help you where you can. Uh, so look out for Ace Hardware deals, uh, upcoming hikes. Uh, upcoming videos on the outdoors with Kirk, outdoors with Kirk on Rumble. Uh, so I'm I'm heading to the St. Francis hiking trail. I gotta wait for good weather. It's uh boy, this is gonna be a big, big, big hike for me. I 7.7 miles. I, I I'm gonna have to, to, to get on the road at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> take a take. Maybe a, maybe an electric motor and uh, you know electric skateboard or something to help me get around this, but uh, it's uh, it, well it's this hiking four hours, uh, and so this is uh, habitats flood floodplain forest hydric uh, hammock uh, and oak hammock uh, bay head pine flatwoods uh, it's going to be freaking huge I like to challenge myself hope you do too I will have the phone along on that trip and just in case. Hell, I might not make it. All right, that's it for this video. Peace out. Stay free. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down.